Hey guys, Kingdom Games here, and today I am back with another video. This time I'm going to be showing off my Sword and Shield base set, um, Master Set Progress. Um, so yeah, let's just get through it. I have a bunch of other ones, as you can see. I was just kind of messing with my binders, and I figured why not make a video. Um, or this would probably be the best time to make a video. But um, yeah, so let's just get through it. So this is the first page. Um... I do want to go on and say I do have most of this set complete. I think I'm only missing like I don't even know how many cards actually. I didn't check. Um, I was doing this in my room, not in my normal recording stuff, just because um, all my binders are in in my room. So uh, I figured why not? Uh, Cilipede, send the scourge. I really like this Lapras. Um, I like both of them. I have this one as a PSA card. I think it's a PSA 9. I think I got it for like 10 bucks on eBay in a winning bid like two months ago. Um, I'll probably do an update on my PSA collection. I have bought a few more and I also have a few more being submitted right now. Um, Obviously, I've been debating on whether or not I should just do, like, a collection update for my graded cards or, um, just wait till the other ones come back and then do it like that. I don't know. PSA's been pretty good about other times, I guess, lately. I haven't actually submitted anything in a while other than this, and I did submit them, like, two weeks ago, so. Um, but yeah, I actually really like this set. Um, this set's actually what got me back into the game back in 2020. I remember I went to the store looking for um, just a binder for my cards, just like special cards. And then I saw that they were selling a pack, like a mini binder, those little uh, Pokemon ones. Um, it came with a pack for like $6 at Target, so I figured why not. Bought it. I didn't really want the pack. I was just going to kind of either sell the card or do something just give it to my friend um but i ended up pulling a really cool card from it so which we will get into actually i think it's the cards on the next page and yes actually this card is on this page i pulled this card at the time i pulled it it was like a eight dollar card this is a i want to say maybe august of 2020 it's almost two years ago now, but this card, I don't know how much it is. Um, I didn't sell it. I didn't want to because um, it just looked really cool. So I kept it, and then it just got me back into the game again, really. Um, so, yeah, that's why I started. I still do Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, it's just I haven't really been into the sets. I do like about, uh, oh, what's the newest set, like something of Chaos. Um, King Score was probably the last set I really wanted from that, but I think it's like battles of chaos or something like that with a new dark magician i really want that set i actually have to buy a few i just haven't had time or money lately um especially since some stuff happened which i won't get into but nothing bad i just um uh, just some stuff happened um but yeah so pretty much out of this well let's go back actually i'm missing that which is just a storm x v max card um i checked earlier today so yeah, as you can see, I got all the reverse. So the way I do my master sets is for like the newer stuff. Like, I try to get like the reverse hollows as well. Um, it just can be difficult with the other with the older sets just because. Um, so for like pretty much anything sword and shield and above, I do try to get the reverse. If I can't, I can't. Um, Pretty much, but anything before that, I just go for, like, the regular rarity instead of the reverse. I know these ones are flopped. I did flop them. I think I got kind of lazy. Um, but, yeah, like, you guys will see. I think my next video that I'm going to record is actually my Ruby and Sapphire. Um, one which, that has to be probably my favorite set of all time. Um, yeah, definitely the Ruby and Sapphire base set. Uh, so yeah, you guys will see when I record that up next. It's not in a cool binder like this, but um, But yeah, as you can see I have all this and this is where we start getting into 
missing things. I think this one is Seishin. I don't know what these ones are. And then it's just um, pretty much the way. I think the way they are is whatever, like, um, whatchamacallit. Um, whatever way it's on here, it might be this. I'm not really sure, to be completely honest with you. I'm not 100% sure, but... Team Yell Grunt, Ordinary Rod, and I'm missing everything on this page. And then just... All of the... Um, energy cards. But yeah, this is probably my favorite page. Just because it's so colorful and stuff. Um, I do have, I do have master set of Vivid Voltage and Darkness of Blaze. Those are actually my other Sword and Shield sets that I do have co fully complete. Um, I'm almost done with this one, obviously. I'm almost done with Rebel Clash, Chilling Rain. Pretty much I'm done with most of them, or almost done. I think they're missing like 20, around 20 cards each, which I'm just gonna flat out buy them. It's because the sealed product is getting more expensive. Um, and then I don't have Fusion Striker Brilliant Stars. And then I know they just announced a new one, which has to do with um, like Arceus. Uh, it's like Astral Radiance or something like that, which looks really cool. It's got like the new forms of Dialga and Palkia. Um, so that does look really cool. I am excited for those. But as of right now, uh, I have a. F you guys will see. I'm probably going to go actually film one more because my class is going to start in about 40 minutes. I got 40 minutes to kill. But, um, yeah, guys. So, yeah, um, be excited. This set should be done within the next month or so. It just depends on... I just kind of have to figure out the math and how I'm going to buy them all. Um, I actually know I just bought her secret rare, actually. So, that should be here in the mail soon. Um... But, yeah, guys, I think that's going to be it for this video. I'm actually going to go record more. There's um, one right there. Um, that, crap, I'm out of breath. That I do want to record. Um, so, not Ruby and Sapphire. But, um, you guys will see. So, um, yeah, guys, it's going to be it for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.